with lots of special guests. Of course, we'll be talking about some things going on. Easter just around the corner. We'll be talking about some of the events going on around the Easter thing and making your plans on down the road here. We're going to be talking with Paul Smith. He's got a special presentation going on here, and he's kind of got a little pride invested in this because he wrote this and i'm going to find out more about that because i know his writing prowess and uh, we'll see how he's doing with that right now we need to get off and start a couple of uh, people talking here and a guy who never has a problem talks to my good friend paul smith paul good morning how are you i'm good how are you mel i'm doing absolutely great hey pal you've uh, you've been authoring a little presentation you've got coming up yeah actually it's a uh, drama called Pontius pilot what is truth looks at the events that we traditionally call the Easter story, but through Pilate's viewpoint. We know a little bit about Pilate from history, and then there's a lot of theory of what happened to him after the points in history that we know. And we take those elements that we know, and we, we take some artistic license with some of it, and we get to meet Pilate 10 years after the events, after he's been basically fired from his job in Judea and called back by Caesar. And, and he's in a prison cell, and he's being interrogated for the events that caused things in Judea to unravel during his leadership and and in the course of that he he recounts these events that were pivotal and life-changing for him at that point as well yeah this would be a bit of a different perspective obviously than what some people would be used to at Easter mm -hmm. time and uh, what made you decide to, to go from this point of view well First of all, I'm, I'm just interested in history, and I, and I like looking at, at stories that, that are traditional that everybody quote-unquote knows, but they just know because they keep hearing it. They don't actually read it and look into things themselves. And Pilate has always intrigued me because he always gets cast as the bad guy in the story, the, the heavy, the, the one that, that is the, the bad one that did all the bad stuff. But, you know, as you look at who he was and you look at the stuff history tells us, he really isn't that much unlike any of us today. In fact, I would say that probably any any official any leader, any elected official today would probably react in very similar ways to what he did back then because in many ways he was a political opportunist. He was he was looking for the easy way out and he thought he found the easy way out and it was give up this one guy to appease the crowd. Well, you're whetting our appetite here, so to speak, with this. Uh, how can people get to see your presentation here? Where will it be and when? We're presenting it at Brain Assembly of God in Pleasant Hill. Uh, it is being presented Thursday night on the 28th, this next coming Thursday night. So it'll be Thursday night, March 28th, and Friday night, March 29th, 7 o'clock, both times. Admission is free. Again, it's at Marine Assembly of God in Pleasant Hill, which is just off the university exit on the Highway 5 bypass. Okay. You know, if you were going to the State Fair, for example, just don't go all the way to the fairgrounds. Just yeah. stop and stop Brian on your way. And we'll be happy to have people show up. Sounds absolutely fabulous. Hey, congratulations, kudos, and uh, thank you. be anxious to uh, see how it goes. I'm going to try and get down, pal. I'll yeah. do my best. We always love having you. All right. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. All right, Paul Smith, of course. Uh, interesting perspective there. I think you'd rather enjoy it.